Hi everyone, welcome to Singing How to Study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 course, and I'm your teacher, Ronnie. Today we are going to learn Lesson 7, 第七课, 今天几号, 今天几号, which means what's the date today. Okay, now let's move on to our part 1, warm up. We can see there are two parts as usual, pictures and the new words. Let's see the new words first. First one is shu, shu. This one, we've seen it before. It means books, books. Next one, zhong guo cai, zhong guo cai. This one, we're really familiar with it. It means Chinese dish, Chinese dish. Next one is xue xiao, xue xiao. It can be a little bit new one. It means school, school. Next is 25号, 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 we already know it means 25. If you, are, if you are not familiar with how to read Chinese numbers, please go, please go back and check the former lessons, okay? So 25号 here means the 25th in the month, okay? The 25th in the month. Next one, 月. 月, 一月, 月, it means a month, a month. Okay, sometimes it means the moon too. Last one, 看书, 看书, 看 is a verb, it means to read, to watch, to see. And 看书 means read books. Okay, first one, 书, next one, 中国菜, 学校, 25号, 月, 看书. Now let's fill in the blanks. Okay, time's up. Let's see. First one, shu books, really easy. It is e e. Next one, zhong guo cai, Chinese dish, really easy one too. It is d. And next, xue xiao, xue xiao. It, it is, it actually is a a. In China, most of the high schools and middle schools looks like this. It is a playground of a school. And next is 25号, 25号, which is C, C, month, which is F. You can see there is a calendar here, F. And the last one, 看书, obviously, it is B. Okay, now let's move on to our second part, which is text and the new words. So today's new words are a little bit um, more than before. So now let's focus on first one is qing. Qing, read up to me, please. Qing, qing. The initial is t, the final is ing, and the tone is the third tone. Qing, qing, it means please, please. And next one, 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 it means to ask, to inquire, to ask, to inquire, read up to me, one, one. So if I say, qing wen, then it is, excuse me, it is asking politely, okay, qing wen, to combine these two, qing wen, it is a way, a polite way to ask about something, especially when you are asking a stranger. Okay, 请问, read up to me. 请问, 请问. The next one is 今天, 今, 今, 特言, 天, 今天, read up to me please. 今天, 今天, it means today, today. Okay, 今天, today. And if I want to say, today is very good, today is very good, we've learned very before, today is very good, how to say that? It is, 今天很好, 今天很好, okay, next one, I am very good today, I am very good today, so I, 
is the subject of the sentence. So I will put I at the beginning, which is 我. And today, very good, is 今天很好. So the sentence is 我今天很好. 我今天很好. Last one, let's try to ask a question. Are you good today? Are you good today? This time I didn't use very this word. I just said, are you good today? Not very good. So try to say this sentence. Are you good today? So we will still put the person, the subject at the beginning of the sentence. So it is 你. And the time word is 今天,你今天. And good, 你今天,好吗? We need a ma. The question, there will be always a ma in most of the questions, right? So, ma, 你今天好吗? Okay, 你今天好吗? Next one is how, 和奥, how. Read after me, please. How, how. It is the date. It means the number, number of the date. For example, like in the warm up, we've learned 25号, It means the 25th of the, of the month, 25号, okay, 25号. So if I wanna, I wanna say the first of the month, then it is 一号, okay, 一号. So, which date you want to say, you just put how after it, okay? 一号, 二号, 三号, 四号, 五号, like this. So this is how, how. Next one is 月, 一月, 月. Read after me, please. 月, 月. It is a fourth term word. 月, it means month month. It is the same as how, which month do you want to say? You just put the number before the year. And in Chinese, the month, the name are just counted in number. For example, January is not called something like January. It is called the first month. So it is yi yue, yi yue. And the February is the second month, which is 二月, 二月, okay? So from 一月 to the 十二月, okay? 一月, 二月, 三月, 四月, 五月, 六月, 七月, 八月, 九月, 十月, 十一月, 十二月, and we are going to learn it in later, okay? Later in the language point part. So here we are not going to practice it more time. Next one is 星期, 星期, 星, 星, 七一七, Read up to me, please. 星期, 星期, it means week, week. And if you want to say which day in the week, we will use the number as well. So the first day in the week is uh, Monday, and we will call it 星期一, 星期一, not like how and year. We will put the number before how and year. But for 星期, we will put the number after it, okay, after it, the number. And for this, we will put the number before how and yue. For example, 星期一, and the second day of the week is 星期二, and 星期三, 星期四, 星期五, 星期六, 星期日. This time we won't call it 星期七, okay? Not 星期七, it's 星期日, or 星期天. Or tian, these two ways to call Sunday. Xinqi or Xinqi Tian. Okay, Xinqi Ru or Xinqi Tian. So read after me. Xinqi, Xinqi, Xinqi. 
Okay, now let's try to read it from the start, each word twice. Three, two, one. Xin, xin, wen, wen, jin tian, jin tian, hao, hao, yue, yue, xin qi, xin qi. Okay, very good. Now let's try to move on to our text. I will read for you and please listen carefully, okay? Please listen carefully. 请问今天几号? 今天九月一号? 今天星期几? 星期三? Okay, let's see the sentence by sentence. First one, 请问? We just learned it. It means, it means ask something lightly. It actually means excuse me, excuse me. And what means to ask, right? Ask. 今天几号? 今天 means today. And 几号 here we can see. 几 means how many. How many? It is used to ask about numbers. Uh, numbers. So 几号 means which date. So it is asking about the date. 今天几号? What's the date today? Okay, 今天几号 is the sentence to ask about the date today. 今天几号, read after me. 今天几号, 今天几号. Okay, next one, B answer. 今天九月一号, 九月一号, 九月, 九, number nine, E, number one. It is really easy to remember the names of the months in Chinese if you already know how to count numbers, okay? You don't need to remember other, other things, just like in English, we need to remember 12 different names of the month, right? And seven different names of the week. But in Chinese, no, you just need to know yu and how then you can know everything about a year. Next one is 今天星期几? 今天星期几? 星期 means week, week. And 星期几 here is asking about the date of the week, which date in the week. So from 几号 and 星期几 here, we can see how and year. For how and year, when we are asking about the date of the month and the date of and the date of of the day, then we will use ji how. We will put the number or ji before how. But for xin qi, when we are asking about a week, we will put the number and the how after number before the after the xin qi, okay, after xin qi. Next, the answer, xin qi san, xin qi san, which is the Wednesday, Wednesday, okay. So now let's read this text from the start. Read after me, please. Three, two, one. 请问,今天几号? 今天九月一号? 今天星期几? 星期三? Okay, now let's try to read in rows. I will be A and you will be B. Three, two, one. 请问今天几号? 今天星期几? Okay, let's switch the row. You will be A and I will be B. Three, two, one. 今天九月一号. 星期三. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to text two. First, let's see two new words. 
You can see there are two new words look really familiar with another word we've learned in the text one. See, first one is 昨天, 昨天, 自我, 昨, 特言天, 昨天, read up to me, please. 昨天, 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 it means yesterday, yesterday. Okay, 昨天, yesterday. Next one is 明天, 我赢明, 特言天, 明天, 明天, read up to me, please. 明天, 明天, means tomorrow, tomorrow. And still remember how to say today? We just learned it in the text one. Today is 今天, 今天, 今, 今, 特言, 天, okay? We've learned today, yesterday, and tomorrow already. 今天, okay, now let's try to read it from the start, each word twice. 昨天, 昨天, 明天, 明天. Very good. Now let's just move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 昨天是几月几号? 昨天是八月三十一号? 星期二 明天呢? 明天是九月二号, 星期四 OK, now let's see the text sentence by sentence. First sentence is asking about the date, right? The date. 昨天, yesterday. 昨天是, 是 means to be, is. 昨天是几月几号? 几月几号? In text one, we've learned how to ask about only the date. 几号? And this one, it is asking more detailly, more detailly. 几月, it is asking about the month and the date, okay? But when someone is only asking about 几号, you can also tell them the month of the date, okay? 几月几号, or just asking about 几号, is all, these two are both right, both right. And 几月, which month? which date? And be answered, 昨天是, yesterday is 八月, August, 三十一号, 三十一, still remember how to read, read, count the numbers in Chinese? We need to read the tens digits first, and then we'll read the unit, right? We will read it. So, it is, 三十 and 一, okay, 三十一, 三十一. So, 八月三十一号, August the 31st. 星期二, 星期二, it is Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay, 星期二, the second day of the week. And I asked again, 明天呢? 明天呢? So, it is only in this sentence, we can't see much details, right? It just said, how about tomorrow? So if there's nothing happened before here, we cannot, if we cannot see these two sentences, then we won't know what A is talking about now. So remember the function of N. N is used to ask about things mentioned before, right? Mentioned before. And before, you can see it is asking about the dates, the time, right? And in this sentence, N is used to ask about date, date. And B answered, 明天, tomorrow. 明天 is, tomorrow is 九月二号, 九月二号. September the 2nd, September the 2nd, 星期四, 星期四. So guess what is the date for today? The date for today. It is, yesterday is 八月三十一号, and 今天 
是九月二号。So 明天是九月二号。So 今天是九月一号。Yes， 九月一号。So and week is 昨天是星期二，明天是星期四。So 今天是星期三。Very good. Now let's try to read it from the start. Okay, read after me. 昨天是几月几号？昨天是八月三十一号，星期二。明天呢？明天是九月二号，星期四。Okay, pay attention to n here. It is a neutral tone, neutral tone. Okay, now let's read it in the row. I will be A and you will be B. Three, two, one. 昨天是几月几号？明天呢？Very good. Now switch the row. I will be B. You will be A. Three, two, one. Yesterday is May thirty first, Monday. Tomorrow is May twenty second, Monday. Okay, now let's move on to text three. In this sense, we can see there are four new words here. First one is a verb, which is 去, 去, 七欲, 去, 七欲, 去. We can see the pin of it, it looks like this. It actually should be two dots, but because of the rule of GTC, do you remember it? GTC, when U is after GTC, these three initials, then we will get rid of these two dots, okay? So it is Chu, Chu, to go. It means to go to somewhere. So anywhere you want to go, you just put the place after Chu. Put the place, put the location after it. Chu, a place. Chu, a place. Okay, next one is 学校,西学,学校,学校, read after me please, 学校,学校, it means school, school, 学校, okay, so go to the school is, go to school is, we just learned go to is 去, so go to school is, 去学校, okay? 去学校, we just need to link these two. 去学校, okay? Try to say, go to friend's house. Go to friend's home. Go to friend's home. So, friend's home is 朋友家 or 朋友的家. These two are all right, okay? 朋友家 or 朋友的家. Okay, so go to friend's home. 去朋友家,去朋友家。Okay, next one, go to teacher's home. Go to teacher's home. It is 去老师家,去老师家。Very good, very good. And if I want to say don't go somewhere, then I just need to put the negative word, which is 不, okay, 不 before 去。不, then we will change it to second tone because the tone sandy of bu we will change it when it is before the first tone. So it is bu qi, bu qi. So try to say don't go to school. Don't go to school. It is bu qi xie xiao. Bu qi xie xiao. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to next verb, which is can we just learned it in the warm up? Can 
可按看 initial 课 the final 按 and the tone is the fourth tone. It means to read, to look, to watch everything about the eyes. So read book. Read book is 看书 which is the last new word of the text. 看书书屋书书屋书 Read up to me, please. 书书 Actually, we've seen this new word before many times. 书 means book, and 看书 means read book. Read book. He tried to say, "Go to see the teacher. Visit the teacher." In Chinese, we use to look at someone instead of visit someone. Okay. So to see to look at teacher is 看老师 okay 看老师 it means visit teacher. So anyone you want to visit, you can use 看 okay 看 and try to say visit Chinese friend, visit Chinese friend. It is 看中国朋友看中国朋友 visit Chinese friend. Okay, now try to say Chinese book. Chinese book. 中国书中国书 We are not talking about the nationality of the book. We're talking about the language of this book. So when we are talking about language, then it is not 中国 It's 汉语 Very good, 汉语 So Chinese book is. 汉语书，汉语书。Okay, next. When I wanna say one book, one book in Chinese, I need to put a major word between the number and the book. Okay, a major word, and the major word of book is 本，不恩本。Read up to me, please. 本。本 it's a third tone word. 本 so one book. Try to say it. It is 一本书 Pay attention to the tone, Sandy. Of 一 it is the fourth tone. Okay, 一本书一本书 So a Chinese book is 一本汉语书 Okay, put the major word between the number and the noun. 一本汉语书 Then try to make a sentence. I have a Chinese book. I have a Chinese book. Then it is 我有一本汉语书我有一本汉语书 Don't forget about the not the verb 有 It means have. It means the existence. 我有一本汉语书 Okay. Now let's try to read it from the start. Each word twice. Three, two, one. 去去学校学校看看书书 Very good. Now let's move on to the text. I will read it for you and please listen carefully. 明天星期六，你去学校吗？我去学校。你去学校做什么？我去学校看书。Okay, let's see the text sentence by sentence. First one, 明天星期六。明天 is tomorrow. 星期六 Saturday. So tomorrow is Saturday. 你有去学校 go to school. We just learned the structure of 去 is anywhere you wanna go. You put a place after it. Okay, 去 plus a place. 去学校 go to school. 你去学校吗 It means are you going to school? 吗 Here. Okay, next one. 我去学校 I. Go to school. I will go to school. I will go to school. 你去学校做什么 You go to school 
Zuo means to make, to produce, and here it means to do what. 什么 means what. 做什么 means do what. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when you go to the school? Go to the school. Okay. And B answered, 我去学校看书. I go to school to do what? To read books. 看书, read books. 我去学校看书. Okay, now let's read it from the start. Read after me, please. Three, two, one. 明天星期六,你去学校吗? 我去学校。你去学校做什么? 我去学校看书。Okay, pay attention to the neutral tone here. First one, ma. Next one, shema, ma. Okay. 你去学校吗? 做什么? Okay, these two neutral tone. Now let's play in the row. I will be A and you will be B. 明天星期六,你去学校吗? 你去学校做什么? Okay, let's switch the row. Three, two, one. 我去学校。我去学校看书. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our next part, which is language point. Language point. First is the expression of the date in Chinese. The part one of the expression of a date. So in Chinese, we will say the biggest unit first and then to the smallest one. So biggest unit in the date actually is the year, right? So if we need to say the year, we will say the year first. And then it's the month, right? The month. And then the date of the month. Date of the month. And then it's the week. Okay, week. Because the date of the month is in the bigger system, right? In the bigger system of the month. And the week is in the... The week is in the smaller system, which there is a seven days, seven days. Okay, now let's move on to see. First one, let's see the example. 九月一号,星期三,九月一号,星期三, we can see here, we first set the month and the date of the month, 九月. And then we said a week. 星期三, 星期三. And for the date, here is how, which means number. And when we are writing the date of the number, we will actually say, I will actually write 日. But in daily speaking, in spoken language, we will use how more often. Okay? 日 which means the date. And how, it means number. 九月一号, the first of September. Next, 星期三, we can see in the week we use the Chinese character instead of this numeral, right, numeral. So this is another rule when we are writing. When we are writing the weeks, we will use the Chinese characters. Okay, let's see the next example. 九月二号,星期四,九月二号,星期四, means the second of the September and the first day, first day. Okay, let, let's read the last one, last one is, 八月三十一号,星期二, 八月三十一号,星期二, August the 31st and Tuesday. August the 31st and the Tuesday. 
And the way to ask about date, we just learned in the text, it is 几月几号, say, it is 几月几号. I will write it for you. And put a question mark at the end, at the end. This is the question of asking about the date. And and if you want to specifically ask about the week, then you will put you can put after it. Okay, you just need to put after it. So this is about the expression of date. Now let's try to say August the first Friday. August the first. Friday, August the 1st, Friday. So August is the eighth month of the year. So it is Ba Yu, right? Ba Yu, and the first is Yi Hao. Ba Yu, Yi Hao. And Friday is the first day of the week. So Xing Qi Wu. Okay, so the answer is Ba Yu, Yi Hao. Xing Qi Wu. Very good. Now let's move on to our next part, which is the synthesis with a nominal predicate. Nominal predicate. Before we've learned the sentences with the adjectival predicate, which means the adjectives can be the predicate in Chinese. And this time, the nouns can be a predicate in Chinese too. Let's just see the examples. First one, 我的汉语老师 三十三岁。我的汉语老师三十三岁。Okay, 三十三岁。Okay, here, the subject is 我的汉语老师。My Chinese teacher. My Chinese teacher. 我的汉语老师。And三十三岁 is 33 years old. 岁 is the major word for Years, ages, okay, 三十三岁, 33 years old. And in this sentence, we cannot see any verbs, right? No, nothing is verb. 我的, my, 汉语老师, Chinese teacher, 33 years old. There is no 是 in between to act as an verb. There is no it, no is, no 是. So in this sentence, we can see 三十三岁 is actually acting as a predicate, which is a nominal, nominal. Next one, 明天星期三, tomorrow, Wednesday. These two, none of these are verbs. And 星期三 actually is acting as a predicate, the nouns. Next one, 今天九月一号. 今天九月一号, today is the September 1st, September the 1st. Then there is no verbs as well, no verbs as well. So in these sentences, we can see the nominal, nominal phrases or only nouns, they can act as a predicate, okay? But, but when we are using, um, uh, when we are talking about the dates and the ages, we usually don't put the verb in it, the verb shi in it. But it can be more flexible when we're talking about the dates. Okay, it can be a little bit more flexible about dates. For example, today is Saturday. Today is Saturday is Xin Tian Xin Qi Liu. Okay, Saturday is the sixth day of the week, 今天星期六. But we can also say 今天是星期六. It is okay. It is okay. So 今天明天是星期三. For example, this example two, 明天星期三. We can also say it as 明天是星期三. It is flexible when we're talking about days. But when we're talking about ages, it is not that flexible, okay? Not that flexible. 
So this is the sentences with a nominal predicate. Now let's move on to next one, next language point, which is go to somewhere, do something. It actually is a serial verb construction. Serial verb construction. Okay. In this sentence, to plus a place and plus to do something actually is she is the verb one, and to do something is the verb two here. We can see there are two verbs. So that is why this sentence, this structure is called serial verb construction, because there are more than one or more than two verbs in a sentence, okay? And actually this verb two can actually mean the purpose of verb one, okay? And sometimes, this to do something, this something can be omitted. This place can be omitted, okay? This place can be omitted. Okay, let's see the examples. First one is 我去中国学习汉语。我去中国学习汉语。Okay, okay, see there is a chu plus a place and plus to do something, this construction. And the subject is here. Wa I I and Chu. I go to China to study Chinese. Okay, I go to China to study. And in here, when this Jungo, this place is not that important. I'm not when I'm not emphasizing the place, I am emphasizing this thing, 学习汉语, then I can omit it, just say, 我去学习汉语, 我去学习汉语, it is okay too. Next one, 我们去吃中国菜, and where? 中国饭馆, 中国饭馆, here, 饭馆, Retroflex finals, right? Retroflex final. Fan guan actually means the restaurant. Fan guan. And I put an or after it. And when we are reading, I will get rid of this. N, n, and I will read as fan guan. Fan guan, okay? Zhongguo fan guan, Chinese restaurant. 我们去中国饭馆吃中国菜。We will go to the Chinese restaurant to eat Chinese dish. The verb one, 去. The verb two is 吃中国菜. Okay, next, next example is 我去学校看书. Verb one, 去. Verb two, 看. I will go to school, read the book. 我去学校。看书, two verbs, okay? 去学校, and this 学校 can be omitted when I don't want to emphasize it, okay? Now let's try to make a sentence. Okay, try to make a sentence. He, he go to Franz home to eat Chinese dish. He go to Franz home to eat Chinese dish. Okay, first one, the subject is he, so ta. The next one is to a place to, he will go to friend's home, so to 朋友家, okay, to 朋友家, and next one, verb two is to eat Chinese dish, so it is 吃中国菜, okay, now let's make the sentence complete. Ta, 去朋友家吃中国菜. Okay, very good, very good. Now let's move on. Let's try to read these words, okay? First table is about the month, month. And the second table is about the week. Okay, now let's read after me, each for twice, okay? Each for twice. Three, two, one. 一月 一月，二月，二月，三月，三月，四月，四月，五月。For 五月，please don't forget about the tone. 
tone of wu, tone change of wu, we won't read it as wu, we will read it as the half the tone, right? Wu yue, wu yue. Next, liu yue, liu yue, qi yue, qi yue, ba yue, ba yue, jiu yue, jiu yue, shi yue, shi yue, shi yi yue, shi yi yue. 十二月, Very good. This is about the month. Now let's move on to the week. Okay, read up me. 星期一星期二星期三星期四星期四 星期五，星期五，星期六，星期日，星期日，星期天，星期天。Okay, these are weeks and the months. Now let's move on to our exercises. Okay, exercises. First one. You can see there is a calendar. It says. January the 1st in 2013, okay? Now let's try to fill in the blanks. 今天是几月几号? 星期几? Okay, try to fill in the blank first one. 今天是一月一号, right? January the 1st, so 一月一号. And Xinqi Ji, the week, try to put it in. You can see here. Let's see. Here is the Sunday. If it is the red one, it's the Sunday. And the green one is today. So we can see here there are which day? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It is the first day. So how to say first day? It is 星期四. Yes, very good. So 今天是一月一号,星期四,星期四. Okay, next one. 今天几月几号? Let's see this picture here, this picture here. 今天几月几号? The main is the fifth Fifth month of the year, so 五月, right? 五月, and it is 18, so 十八, 十八, so 五月十八号, okay, 今天五月十八号, very easy. Now let's move on to next one. 二十二号是 what? 二十三号是 what? Let's see the calendar. In this calendar, 22 and 23, we can only see the week here. Week, the date of the week. So 22 is Wednesday and 23 is the Thursday. Let's see. 22 is Wednesday. Wednesday is Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. And 23 is Wednesday. Don't forget when we are writing the the weeks, we will write it as the Chinese character, not this one. It's this one. Okay, 星期三. 星期三 and 二十三号 is 星期四. 星期四. Okay, last one. 明天我去 where, come, what? 明天我去哪儿, 看什么? 明天我去哪儿看什么? Let's see the picture here. Where is this place? This looks, it looks like a campus, right? A campus. So we can say, 我去学校看 what? There are so many people looking at the, reading the book. So 看书。明天我去学校看书 is the right answer. Okay, now let's move on to next part, which is the tone collocation in dissyllabic words. 
disulfate quartz. So from the tone collocation before we land, before we land, we can see only the third tones are what we need to pay attention to. They're always the tone change of the third tone. We will need to change the tone into half third tone, right? Now, so first, let's see if this rule is right. First one, 时间, read after me, please. 时间, and try to look at this one, this table here. We can see there are still pitches, five pitches, and she is rising from this to here, from two to four, two to four. And the first tone is still, if it is not at the highest, the fifth tone, then it will be at the fourth pitch, fourth pitch. So it is 时间, 时间, it is not 时间. It's 时间, 时间, okay? 时间, next one is 银行, read up to me please. 银行, 银行, it is not this one, 行, the second character, second syllable, is not rising up from here, right, like this. It is rising up from here, so it is 银行, not 银行. It's not like that, it's in Hang, okay? Next one, let's see the third tone here. Read up to me, Ci dian. Ci dian. We can see in the picture, it means the dictionary, Ci dian. and this means the bank, okay? This means the bank, and this one is Ci dian. Ci dian. it means dictionary. So we can see the second tone is still as usual, from four to pitch two to pitch four. And the end, it is the third tone. It's not rising up like this. It is here, two, one, one. Pitch two to pitch one, and it won't rise up high. Two, one, one, so it's the end. Read after me, please. Ci dian. Ci dian. Ci dian. And it is not high like this. The pitch is not high like this. It's not ci dian, it's ci dian. Okay, read up to me, please. Last one is Lan Se. Lan Se. It rise up, the second tone rise up, and then at the highest pitch, it just fall down. Lan Se. It's like this Lan Se. And this one is not, it's not falling down from here. Okay, it's falling down from high. It's Lan Se. It's not Lan Se. Okay, it's Lan Se. Read up to me, please. Lan Se. Lan Se. Lan Se. Very good. So from here, we can see we just need to pay attention to this third tone. Okay, it is half third tone. So now let's try to practice this part, this line here. Okay, don't pay too much attention of the of the of the meaning of the words, okay? We were just using the pronunciation to practice. So read up to me. Ping Pingguo. Pingguo. Half third tone. The next one is Pijiu. 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 Next one is Niu Nai. Niu Nai. Niu nai. Last one is Yu Yong. Yu Yong. Yu Yong. Very good. Now let's move on to our next part, which is the single component characters. Single component characters. First one is Si, si which means four. Four. Si. In ancient time, when this word is originally, originally created, it is written like this. Some of the students ask me before when we are learning E, R, and San, they asked if S is written in this way. It is written in this way in ancient time, but in modern Chinese, it, it is written like this, not this, not for horizontals, not for Hang. It is this. Now let's see how to write it, okay? Try to write it with me. First, uh, Vertical, 
and then a horizontal vertical hook and then a left turning and then this this turning this curve and then a horizontal to close this close this okay try to write them with me again vertical horizontal vertical hook and then close it try to write it with me again okay this is si, which means four four okay next one is five wu, wu. it means five in ancient time it looked like this and now we are writing it in this way now let's see how to write it and write with me first a short horizontal and then a vertical and then a horizontal turning and then a horizontal the longest one okay try to write it with me again horizontal vertical horizontal turning and then a horizontal again horizontal vertical horizontal turning horizontal okay ooh, ooh. horizontal vertical horizontal turning horizontal this is five now let's move on to next single component character, which is hook. Hook. So we can see ancient in ancient time it looked really complicated here. Complicated. And actually you can see here is this part. This part actually means a hand. A hand. It look like this. Looks like a hand. This part is hand and this part is arm. Arm. And this one, this thing is actually actually a brush. It is a brush. And these two dots are the ink. And this is a bow, a thing to put the ink in. This is shu. In ancient time, shu actually means writing, writing. And now we call it a book, a book which is the books are written. Now let's try to see how to write shu in, in modern Chinese. First, a horizontal turning, and then a horizontal turning hook, and then a vertical, and then a dot. Very easy one. Let's try to write it with me again. Horizontal turning, horizontal turning hook, a vertical in the middle, and a dot. Again, horizontal, turning horizontal turning hook a vertical and a dot this is shu shu now let's move on to the next part which is the last part the structure of the chinese characters left right and left middle right left middle right in compound characters we will have several radicals several radicals and that's why we will see there are many um, many constructions, the structure of different kinds. First one is left right, left right. It is really easy. We can see this ni here. In the left, we can see this is the radical ren, and in the right, we can see this part. We can separate it from here, right? And next one is how, which means good, how. And we can separate it from here. In the left part, it means nu, which is woman. And in the right, another character, it is zi, zi, which means son, baby. Okay. And the left middle right structure, which is we can separate them into three parts, left, middle, and right. For this xie, which means thank, xie, thank. We can see left here this radical which is yen which is about talking and in the middle is this thing which is shen and in the right it is it's swan we can separate into this this and this these three parts right three parts and next one this shu 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 it means a tree we can still separate it into three parts too let's see it is these three parts, right? These three parts. So it is really easy to see these two structures, left, right, and left, middle, right. 
it is really obvious construction construction of this component characters okay now let's move on to the last part which is the radical chinese radicals two radicals for today first one is san dian shui san dian shui three dots of water which is san dian shui pang the shape it is shaped like three dots of water right three drops of water and this radical san dian shui it is usually related to water water first one han he an han it is really familiar with us it, it actually used always used in hanyu right hanyu which means chinese and some of you might think it's nothing about about water but actually in ancient time and now there's still a river called han shui han shui shui means water han shui actually it means han river and and chinese are really familiar with this river okay han shui next one mei mei it means nothing nothing okay mei mei not to have for example mei yo mei yo okay next radical is yan zi pang yan zi pang the radical this one is always about talking about the language speak okay yan zi pang this one it looks like this and in ancient time it actually look like this and in modern chinese it is simplified into this one yan zi pang yan okay let's see the example characters first one is Yu, yu, which means language. Yu. This part is yan zi pang. Next one is shei, shei, which means who, who. And this part is yan zi pang too. Yan zi pang, shei. Okay, this is all for today's class. And please try to practice writing and reading after the class. And thanks for listening. See you next time.